start with a shocking story of a group of women who have declared they would rather go and suffer as servants in homes of Saudi Arabian employers than stay in Kenya where they have no jobs. The group of about 20 women have been huddled in one small room in Nairobi's Kasarani area waiting for an agent to process their documents for them to travel. KTN's Catherine Omwantho has the story. Hello, Lord. Please, 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 I need your help. I can't. These people will kill me. Please, please help. The voice you hear belongs to 23-year-old Faith Wairimo who went to look for work in Saudi Arabia and ended up being a housemaid. Her story is that of many immigrants who work in the Middle East, a story of abuse, both physical and psychological. These people are taking advantage of me because he's young Arabic. But at the end of the day, they will do what they want with me. Faith is in constant contact with Rukia Mohammed. They have never met. They only communicate through the mobile application WhatsApp. Come after three days, Zivia Kazuka, Lipozuka, and Akasema Kuna Mamba Mabaya, and Tokea client, Alini Pigia, Okwani Li Tuliko Sana Kidogo, Tundi Tulipishana, Tukabungana, Kawasasa Nishu, Akasema Lazima, and Kampepole, Kulekwa Kichumbani. When KTN learnt about Faith, she sent two pictures, one which seems to be showing whip marks on her back, the other of a freezer. Her owner says he will use it for her coffin. After five hours, sasa tena akabadilishwa katika gari nyingine. Na alipoingia kwanza liambosi angalie nyuma. Haka ingizo katika gari lingine. Sasa kuingizo katika gari lingine, hapapo hajui ni wapi. Mana kiata alipokuwa kule, likuwa hato kinji. Kutuwa kwenye gari, nda likuenda kapelekwa katika destination ambao haijui. Na kule kifika, naambiwa hapa wenzako wa memalizikia hapa. The girl in distress gave us her parents' numbers, however the couple declined to speak, saying that they had to first verify that indeed this information came from their daughter. Asa hapa hapa kuna wale wale omuamini, wengine na muita wazimu. Nekasama hapa ni mifika, sasa mpaka kwenye TV huku wanaunisha kwamba mimi ni wazimu, na mimi sina wazimu. In 2012, the government banned Kenyans from going to the Middle East to work as housemaids. However, the government does permit Kenyans to seek jobs as hotel employees, waiters and waitresses. But somehow commission agents still manage to send Kenyans, especially women, into the Middle East to face the same fate as faith, a life of anguish and regret. 30-year-old Esther Arigo, a mother of one, was told that she would work in Dubai. The story changed the minute she got to Nairobi from Likoni. When I arrived in Nairobi, they tell me, I'm going to go to Jordan. And then the real, the real thing on the ground is that everybody is going to Saudi. The agent organizing her trip has her passport and other important documents, meaning that she has to stay in this room at Mwiki in Nairobi's Kasarani area with 19 other girls until she gets them back. We don't eat. We eat by chance. One would think that the dehumanizing experience a lot of Kenyan women go through in the Middle East would be less than enough for women like Esther, but... People talk about... Uh, going out, travel, get a life. Because even being at home, nothing changes. Police say that they suspect but are yet to prove that this is the work of a human trafficking syndicate Nobody hope. that has even now reached Rwanda. We are going to look for the perpetrator. And believe me, on getting him, which I'm very sure we will. But the agents who brought these girls here insist there is nothing illegal they're doing. Habib Nawal is an employee of the recruitment agency responsible for Hope, Esther and the rest. And she sees nothing wrong with putting up 20 girls in a one-roomed house. Wakati mtu anaprefer kulala chini, si ni mtu mzima, anajua this is my comfortable place. Kama ataki kulala kwa kitana, anataka chini, uwezi lazimisha mtu. In a day, the agency claims to send at least 20 girls to the Middle East. If the, the employer from outside, she, they want a house girl, they will pay for this house girl from a birth certificate to, ID, to even ID 
to passport and ticket. Everything they cater for it. The Kasarani police say any girl who changes her mind and wants to abandon the journey to Saudi Arabia will be helped to leave the room. And two were allowed to go home in the last two days. Catherine Omwando, KTN.